Welcome to Electric Vehicles and this is Pavan, Pavan Kumar. Now I am here at EV Expo which is happening in Pragati Maidan, New Delhi. And now I am here at the stall of Preton Energy Private Limited. And it's like a startup company. And now the honorable founder of Preton Energy Private Limited is with us. His name is uh, Aniket. Hello Aniket, how are you? Hi. So how are you? I am good, how are you? Yeah, I am good. So, so could you please introduce yourself to our audience? Sure. So my name is Aniket Ruthi and I founded uh, Preton Energy in 2022 with the name to enter the EV world and to diversify into another industry. Okay. Uh, our core business, our base business is logistics and this is our diversification into another industry altogether. Okay. So uh, the idea here is to create a product which can uh, add value to my customers. Oh. My major customers are three-wheeler, two-wheeler manufacturers. So my idea and my main motive is to add value to their products so that the end consumer is happy. Okay. Only then, you know, people will come to me. So with that in mind and innovation, uh, keeping my products as innovative as possible, we have launched Preton Energy last year. Okay. So, yeah. So what kind of product that you are offering to the customers to make a change in the EV industry? So as of now, we've got two-wheeler uh, batteries and we've got a line for three-wheeler batteries. Uh, for two-wheelers, we've got it on three different voltage, 48 volt, 60 volt and 72 volt and three wheeler we majorly work on 51.2 volt. Okay. So we've got batteries for L3, we've got batteries for uh, L5, we've got batteries for low speed uh, two wheelers, we've got battery for high speed vehicles as well. Right. So uh, owners of the vehicles are the target customers of you, right? Uh, OEMs are my target customer. Okay. So basically right now I'm focusing on B2B. Mm -hmm because that is where uh, see end consumer will buy a vehicle okay. so he'll buy the battery which the vehicle manufacturer suggests because uh, in today's time our end consumer really doesn't have that much knowledge okay. they're still understanding what ev is or how everything works so and so my focus right now is b2b only where i target the oems two-wheeler manufacturers three-wheeler manufacturers and i sell through them and maybe say down the line two years down the line we start you know selling it to the open retail market. Okay. Can you show us your product? Yeah, so we've got uh, the entire range of products here as you can see. Okay. So we'll start with the three-wheeler products, the three-wheeler line. As uh, So now this is 51.2 volt ATH. Right, okay. Uh, this is for an LC category vehicle. Okay. Like rickshaws, auto, Yeah, e-rickshaws. E -rickshaws. Yes. And now uh, the best part about this is we can customize it. Okay. So if we want the box to be a bit taller, we can get it done. We want a, bit, a box to be less in height, we can... Now if you see, compare it to this, the height yes. of this box is very less. So we can do all that. Okay, so the capacity will be same, but the, it depends on the customer. The dimensions can be changed. Mm -hmm. Now the dimension comes what the consumer wants. Yeah. So if a consumer wants battery like this, we can get it done like this. If a consumer wants battery like this, so it's basically all of the dimensions we choose how we go ahead. So it's up to him what kind of changes he wants. Yes. Right. Okay. So now this is 51.2 volt, this is 160H. So this is for an L5 vehicle category. Okay. This is 51.2 volt, 160H. Okay. So now again if we see this battery is a bit bigger. higher. Yeah, and a bigger one. Yes. So now we can again customize it. If the consumer wants less height and they want a broader battery like width we can get it done but in my opinion no customer wants to have a customization of battery right only oems want that according so, to the design yeah so basically when a product is being designed mm. they consider this initially itself okay so for example if we i'm entering with somebody they'll give me the dimensions and get this is the dimension which i have so i'll develop according to that which cell to use how to place it mm. and everything can be managed so that okay. is not a problem so and this is our uh, biggest battery right now okay. this is 51.2 volt 200h. Okay. So length of this battery is quite huge. Yes. So this is again for an L5 category. So what will be the range of this? Uh, like what will be the the range? price range? Mm. See, price range uh, starts from anywhere from 50,000 and can go up to 2 lakh as well. Okay. So it depends upon how much capacity do the consumer want, yeah. which kind of battery the consumer wants, which kind of BMS does they want. Now, if they want something simple, we can do something simple. Uh, if they want GPS in it, if they want IoT in it, okay. that goes additional though. Right, okay. So are these batteries LFP composition? Or so all of them are LFP. Three LFP. wheeler line is completely uh, LFP based and they're on prismatic. Oh. Yeah. And one more thing I just want to ask you is, are you not producing uh, lithium ion and LFP like uh, lead acid? So uh, actually no, I don't do lead acid, I only make lithium ion. Okay. Because lead acid is also again fading out mm -hmm. and lithium ion is what uh, the uh, demand is now uh, as we saw. 
that Delhi government has made a mandate okay. that every e-rickshaw which is supposed to be running, be running in yes. uh, what we say in Delhi okay. should be lithium ion only. So now looking at that, we are also investing into this line as well. So uh, right now we use nut bolts, but maybe in three years, what I plan, I'll even shift to uh, laser welding oh, okay. for these. So laser welding is a different sort of technology altogether. Uh, the quality of the battery increases and plus it's an OEM level battery there. Oh yeah. Yeah. So and uh, one more thing I just want to ask you is how much time it will take to charge this uh, battery bag? So it again depends upon the charger which the consumer uses. So uh, this battery will take approximately anywhere from 5 hours to 6 hours. If you go with a faster charger we can even bring it down to 8 hours. So it all depends upon the current which we charge it with. Okay. So as of now, we are importing the cells from uh, foreign China. countries and yeah. So basically, China. major cells are being uh, imported from China, are being imported from oh. Japan and from South Korea. Okay. So you you are importing the cells from China, Japan and uh, South, South Korea. Korea, right? So and you are showing all the big batteries. So don't you have a smaller battery? Yeah, we've got a line cement? for two wheelers as well. Okay. So you guys can come here. So now, if we talk about this, hmm. this is a 48 volt battery. Okay. It's a typical two wheeler battery. Okay. Now this will fit anywhere in a low speed vehicle. Yes. So this is made in NMC. This is not made in LFP because as we've got a space constraint in uh, two wheelers, hmm. so henceforth we choose NMC because the smells are, cells are smaller yes. and they're dense too. So right. NMC makes sense where there's a space constraint. Hmm. But if there is not a space constraint, we prefer people going with LFP because LFP has a longer life, it has more cycles. NMC only does 800 cycles, whereas LFP can do 2000 cycles. 2000 cycles? Yeah. Right, okay. So it's better so that way. It might run till 3 years of time, right? Easily. Okay. So are you giving any warranty to the For uh, LFP, we give 3 years of warranty. Okay. For NMC, we give 2 years of warranty. Okay. And one more thing I just want to ask you is, uh, are you making these batteries for cycles? Because for cycles, the batteries will, the battery packs will be very thin. Yeah, so now cycle is uh, in my next phase of plan. Okay. Uh, so, so before I launch any product, there has to be a thorough testing before yes. that. So there's cell evaluation, there's BMS evaluation, there's a casing evaluation. So all of that takes approximately three months of time. Yes. And then we make a battery pack, then we again evaluate that as well. So that takes another three months okay. because that it has to be, it, we have to complete the entire cycles of those batteries and cells. Okay. So after that is done, we'll test it on the road, real time, look, uh, testing, how is the product performing then? That also has to make sense, right? Yes. With real life scenarios, like we'll put weights in the uh, vehicle, we'll have a driver driving it in a very congested area. So we've got a route, we've driven it on highways, we've driven it on city, we've driven it on bad roads, we've driven it on good roads. So after that we value it and then we launch. So three wheeler is in next in plan. So we've got the complete range of two wheeler done, we've got a complete range of three wheeler done. Now we are going to e-cycles. Oh. So e-cycles, BMS is what is major only under evaluation because cells are the same. Cells are already evaluated. Once BMS is done, we'll put battery to evaluation and then launch. Okay. Are these products, all products are certified? Like uh, we will be having AS150 certification and also AS148 certification. Right? So we've got the major certifications, but one which certification, one? Uh, which I, I've got ISO certification. Okay. So if you need, uh, say, uh, ICAT certification. Oh, okay. So ICAT certification is only for a few uh, models like 51.2 volt 100 h yes where i get certification required now if we talk about low speed in two wheelers so uh, we're getting a ts certification also done now ts certification is a certification for process which again if i have a standardized prof process basically we're assembling the battery there's yeah. nothing different so if my certification uh, if my process is standardized and the process is good the battery outcome is also good, right. okay. so standardized. So that is the main purpose of getting a TS certificate. Right. Okay. So yeah. See, uh, there are other uh, big players in the market of uh, manufacturing these batteries, right? So what's going to make a difference between you and them? Okay, so uh, I have a firm belief that uh, if you're you know, getting connected with somebody, uh, you should fulfill their demand. So the one major problem which is that nobody can, nobody gives you the supply. For example, you got your battery tested, you took them on board, but they cannot fulfill your supply. Yes. So if you want 100 batteries, they'll only be able to give you say 50. Yeah. Henceforth, your growth gets hindered. So my thing is, if I'm getting uh, with you, you're buying my batteries, I'll fulfill your demand first. If after your demand is done, if I have some batteries left or I have capacity left, I'll take another person on yeah. board. 
So for example, like Altis, we started working together. So right now he's taken my 40% of my capacity. Okay, I'll so, deal. Yeah, so after his capacity was done, like his supply was done, I increased my capacity so that I can take more people on. Okay. So it is, you know, a sort of commitment which we give of supply chain, of quality. And third thing is customization. Now if we come to this battery, so this is a very unique battery. It's not like a normal design. Okay. It's not a normal this thing. There's a lot of difference into this, it. This is unlike other batteries. Yeah, so this is for TV. It's for basically the love. Okay. Which they have. Okay. So ITS love. Yeah. So now we put this on uh, their battery, on, the, on their vehicle. Now, this is an example of what I do, customization. Okay. I can make batteries according to how you need it, how you want it. So uh, that is also what I keep in mind as we showed there as well. I develop batteries which is suitable for your product. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't give you the products which I have. I make products which you want, which is good for your product. Hence for the last consumer, the buyer, he's happy. Okay, so do you have any idea in entering into electric vehicle manufacturing segment? So now you are uh, manufacturing these batteries, right? So do you have any idea? Any idea of? Entering into electric vehicles manufacturing. So, so if I have any plans to enter that yes. industry? No. No. So you want to be in this uh, segment? Yeah. Only? It's a huge space. You see, okay. the, uh, energy storage, we basically call it energy storage solutions. Mm. Now, energy storage solution is not just limited to batteries for EV. Okay. There's solar, there's ESS, there's big storage. And that market is so huge. And uh, with me being a startup, I have to focus on one thing. Yes. If I focus on this, that, BMS and all, will make a lot of problems for me. So right. initially, as of now, my focus is on this. In future, maybe, yeah, why not? If something lucrative comes in, but not nothing as of now. Okay. So thank you, thank you thank very you much, so much. Uh, for your time and valuable thank information. You. I wish you all the very success ahead. Thank you. So and that's all for now, guys. Uh, that's all about uh, this uh, Preton uh, Energy Private Limited, and they are uh, like a startup company, and they are looking forward to battery marketing in the EV industry. We wish you all the very success ahead to them. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and also share this video with your friends and family members. For more such videos, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get instant notifications whenever we upload the video. Go green. Go electric.